In ancient days, our ancestors caught giant fossil bones, the remains of heroes of the Trojan War. Later, people drew a connection between giant bones and giants from the Bible. And only in 1842, an English scientist Richard Owen analyzed works of his colleagues and came to a conclusion. Those were the bones of dinosaurs, giant vertebrate animals that roamed the Earth a very long time ago. The name stuck and after a decade of intense studying, scientists made a second break in conclusion. Giant and invincible creatures disappeared suddenly over a tiny by geological standards period of time. That gave birth to myriads of theories and hypotheses. None of the modern creatures are as strong as even a mediocre dinosaur, but nonetheless, they somehow went extinct. So why did this happen? Prepare to learn about butterflies, meteorites and even radioactive farts. But don't worry, we will come to a definitive answer. Right after you comment below, who's your favorite dinosaur? Let's begin with stating the facts. Over 150 million years ago, our planet was dominated by vertebrate reptiles. Their size varied, but some species were impressively large. Another impressive thing is their diversity. Similar to humans, all dinosaurs very different from one another. And the number of species was over a thousand. Scientists scream about discovering a new one almost every week. But one thing can be said with certainty. While the date of the first dinosaur's appearance is always moving around, the date when they went extinct remains the same. Now scientists think that they appeared over 250 million years ago, but this number keeps moving backwards in time, while the last remains were and still are dated 65 5 million years, which led people to come up with the most popular theory. After all, the Chicxulub crater on Yucatan Peninsula is roughly the same age, and it is so massive that it's impossible to spot with your eyes. 180 kilometers is too big of a diameter for a typical pair of eyes. Half a century ago, scientists accidentally discovered it, and this discovery led to numerous breakthroughs. Our planet was struck by a massive 10-kilometer asteroid, which is evidenced by many ground samples and multiple simulations. It's not hard to realize that the consequences of such a hit were catastrophic. The hottest shock wave rounded the Earth several times. Volcanoes all around the world started erupting, forests were burning, and nature was going crazy. For several years, there was only night. Due to the temperature a drop and lack of sunlight, as well as plenty of ash and soot, plants and seaweed took a big hit. And animals that fed of them took an even bigger hit. And those who ate the ones who ate the plants had it even worse. Many species were extinct, so it makes sense why people think that dinosaurs were among them. The meteorite theory has only one flaw. More and more studies prove that there were very few dinosaurs left by the time the meteorite fell. They started dying out long before that, and this was just the final nail in their coffin. At the time, new species were appearing at a more rapid rate than old species were disappearing. This fact gave room for a lot of silly hypotheses. For instance, paleontologist David Wilkinson believes that dinosaurs went extinct because of farts. He and his supporters calculated how much gas some of the species produced and seriously believe that dinosaurs could have killed themselves. Some of the weirdos blame everything on a supernova explosion near solar system. Radiation from an event like that could have caused changes in Earth's climate, which led to dinosaurs going extinct. But there is no proof of such an event occurring. You know what else doesn't have proof? The fart theory. 
among many other crazy speculations you see online. Reality is simpler and duller. The mass extent of lizards was caused by the combination of factors. More often, scientists give several reasons. First of all, the ice age. Long before the meteorite, the temperature on the planet started to drop. With it, dropped the amount of grass which dinosaurs ate. In addition to that, there were less and less oxygen in the atmosphere. At the same time, dozens of hundreds of new animal species developed. We all know how Cromanians outstood Neanderthals. So why is it hard for people to believe that dinosaurs were outstood by other species? Sure, mammals and other folks were smaller, but that was actually an advantage, since they went unnoticed when eating dinosaur eggs. And the giants sometimes also helped themselves and feasted off eggs. In the end, many individual creatures didn't leave offsprings and their entire kind died out. Scientists also claim that during the period when dinosaurs were going extinct, there was a butterfly development boom. Since there were no birds, they had no enemies. As a result, caterpillars were destroying plants, which were the feeding grounds of herbivores which caused a chain reaction where predators suffered too. We have our own theory based on an existing one. It states that the reason why dinosaurs disappeared was the birth of too many males. Dinosaurs laid eggs and the outside temperature affected them, causing more males' fetuses to develop. This theory sounds crazy only at the first glance, since many species of turtles are dying before our eyes. Using more modern species as the example, scientists proved that the temperature of incubation has a direct effect on the turtle's gender. By the end of this century, 93% of baby green turtles will be females. This is the opposite of the dinosaur situation, but it's clear that with such disbalance, their population will drop. Same thing could have happened to dinos. There are other fascinating theories, for example, the evolutionary self-destruction. The dinosaurs ruled over Earth, and that could have caused their doom. They didn't need to survive, which made the guy sluggish, dumb and weak. There is also a theory about the brain dysfunctionalities due to its large size, but the truth most likely lies somewhere in between. Dinosaurs died because of a large number of reasons, and the proof for that is that they didn't die alone. 16% of all sea animals and almost 20% of all land vertebrates went extinct too. And that wasn't the only mass extinction on Earth. There was also the Permian-Triassic extinction event, which is considered the most massive. 96% of sea dwellers and 73% of vertebrates were wiped then. This was much more traumatizing for the planet than the death of dinosaurs, but for some reason the latter is enveloped in a halo of romanticism. In total, there were five mass extinctions, and mystery aliens or Illuminati had nothing to do with them. The Earth's climate changes, our planet shakes, overheats and supercools sometimes. One thing that can be said for sure, there is never only one reason. Sure, a collision with an asteroid releases energy equivalent to millions of atomic bombs, but sudden global warming or cooling causes as much damage, if not more. Someday our descendants will learn the truth. But for now, all we can do is take care of our planet. People seem to be working so hard to cause the next climate change, which will be scarier than any zombie apocalypse horror movie. Love the Earth, and it will love you back. See you later, friends.